Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new picky card. This one is going to be a bit different from usual. So we have three pals and these pals describe your situation. So this pal is for singles. This one is for people in a situationship. And the third one is for people in a relationship. So of course, if you're attracted towards different scenarios because you might be in them, then choose the ones calling you. Now let's start your reading. Singles, let's see a future love scenario and what can you expect? So we have the limo and we have the first date, okay? So you may not be single for too long. We have a romantic date, maybe a first move, somebody expressing their feelings to you and you can see that with the hearts appearing here. And this could have been somebody that you've met around summer season because I see the, the ice cream as maybe a hint from the season. Now, this card being the rings, which is pentacles, is autumn. So if you haven't met this person, before you can be meeting in this current season at least if you are living in the same um okay, I mean, sharing the same season as i do like friends but of course i do see that possibly some type of encounter and somebody asking you out is what you can expect for the future and this person is shining bright i see somebody that you might be targeting or that might target you but that is because you guys are really vibing together and when you guys just meet it feels like you are magnetized by their energy their aura their personality there might be someone who's very communicative or sometimes they don't even need to talk it's just about them being their breathing and this is something very attractive for you so what i see with these two cards is that your single days will be over i see somebody special that you see as perfection for you as going to be the one who is going to make the first move and ask you out on a date unless you feel this is your calling to ask somebody out on a date because you feel connected to them and you have indeed feelings towards them so number one and number seven maybe maybe that describes actually the dynamic so new beginning leading the way to create opportunities for yourself to start dating somebody special and number seven connects to luck so you guys will be lucky and that can be the lucky result that you get and of course then start to date that specific person but of course if you have nobody in mind it's okay that's future energy so this may make sense later on but they have this solar beautiful and attractive energy for the limo of course i think of somebody who may have a beautiful car or may have a certain status or certain um lifestyle that can be connected to richness abundance but they have enough they have enough and they're shining brightly as for the signs we have earth sign and cancer so that can be but we'll see with a grid more signs so yeah, don't, don't, don't stress out. <laughs> well, let's see more hints about your future. But so far, we were starting big and strong. So, known of them faced up. Let's, let's shuffle again. Let's get some hints about your future. Love life and love story. So you guys might be talking to each other. So we have text, call, email, you name it. But I do see some exchange. So if this person is not there talking to you, this will be the future here. We have kisses. So maybe a kiss on the first date or very quickly. Unconditional love. This is what we want. Giving and receiving affection and falling in love. You guys are just really hitting the jackpot. Maybe that's why seven, 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 seven. You get the point. So yes, you're going to be lucky with this person and you might be exchanging with them. So for example, this person can ask for your number or ask for uh, your Instagram or I don't know. <laughs> but this is a way to finally start to exchange. And then we have self-indulgence. This person is going to come when you focus on yourself. That's really the code here. Like if you're desperate for love, that is why you are pushing love away. You're not... You're not really seducing this energy. It's mostly like, okay, you're not ready. So let's not present somebody um, to you right now. 
So self-indulgence, loving yourself, focusing on yourself, working on self-love, healing. We have shadow work, self-appreciation. -appreci so yes, this is going to be the key to actually vibrate higher. And we saw someone who is very vibrant with their energy. So that's what actually makes the two of you become a magnet for each other. And so that relationship can evolve this way. So make sure that you actually work on yourself and focus on yourself and not stress yourself with dating and having somebody because that's when you do attract this person your way let's see a couple cards but so far we have a date we have talking to each other starting to fall in love kisses as well so it is promising <laughs> Okay, well, indeed, that is promising because we have the future marriage and I posted a future spouse reading just before this one. So if you felt guided or if you feel guided to watch it, I feel like these might be connected. So and especially if you feel like I'm ready to marry, I'm ready to have my future spouse in my life. We have the savior and heal your heart. And we talked about shadow work, healing yourself. So even this person's company presence and influence is going to allow yourself to heal, is going to allow yourself to feel best and to also feel like really stable, really stable, but also feel like like powerful, powerful enough to not even be affected by anything. So this person's presence is going to be very, very uplifting, very positive, healing yourself and saving yourself from maybe a certain situation, certain mindset, certain energy, or certain feeling towards what happened in the past. And I think that is especially related to love or relationships. And then we have a future marriage. So <laughs> if you want that, you get that. That's perfect. So if you've been single and searching for the one that is showing up as future marriage for you. So let's pick more couple cards. For you singles, what can you expect? But so far, <laughs> so far it's pretty, pretty intense. And we can see that again. We have wild nights. So lots of passion, attraction, spiciness, of course. And I loved you for a long time. Okay, so possibly you guys know the person. Possibly you have a target. And if you do have a target, that is why the first date is coming. Um, because you are starting to make a move towards each other and be more transparent with how you truly feel and start to really fall in love with each other. So I loved you for a long time and wild nights. Let's see now their personality. So this can help you to really know who that person is or what type of person you are attracting. Elegant. Honestly, I just think you're attracting a gentleman or somebody who has maturity, respect, education. That's why you can see them as your future spouse because you understand that they are stable, committed, and they want something at last in time. And you get that, so it's perfect. So let's see. Co uh, not couple cards. Um, more about their personality. And we have... And we talked about emotions a lot. So emotionally available. And you have to be yourself emotionally available to be manifesting this opportunity to start dating this person here. And we can see a queen, a king. So this energy really shows that your person is, is going to be indeed somebody that really inspires you or just make you feel like, wow, like that's my man or wow, that's my girl because they have that glow about themselves. They have something that you never really felt before towards anybody. They have power, like for sure. So let's see messages. Anything you need to receive, what they want to say to you. Let's see. I'll come back. Give me some time. So if you have met somebody you felt a connection with, they are coming back to you. The sight of you makes me smile. You are mesmerizing and it's hard to hold back. I want you so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. And you could see that with the reading, actually. Like, they are indeed mesmerized by you. They want to be around you. You make, the, you make them smile. And we saw a lot of positivity, positive energy. So that is so perfect. Let me continue and pick the grid. So this way we can see the zodiac sign of your person. But so far, we had Cancer and Earth signs. Let's see more. 
Okay, so we have Scorpio, Cancer again, <laughs> uh, Taurus and Aquarius. Let me now pick letters and words. So here you can see especially a name appearing, maybe a place, maybe a sentence, a word, something very specific for you. Let's see. Sing. CEO could be a boss. Maybe that's why we saw somebody who has a certain um, status or just, let's say, they are living abundantly. So sing, joy, and say. And we saw talking to each other, so they may say something specific to you. Or these messages that we saw might be said quickly and soon. I think of Seoul. In Korea, let's see. C, actually, is throwing up. Um, I think of the ocean. Could be a name as well. But that's so far what I see. This one is blank, by the way, just in case you are wondering. Um, let's continue with dice. So they will show you more about who they are, personality, and your energy. Wow, okay. So yes, indeed, this, this is true love here, okay? We're not playing around. And you can see that deep connection, holding hands. Of course, that can be what you guys do on that first date. So holding hands, I see a hardworking person, could be an air sign. Someone may have a lot of people that are very envious. And I see that one of you is a bit tied up, maybe tied up to the past, still dealing with attachments, because you can see ties all around. So these ties can be what is blocking this connection. So if this is from you, and I think it could be because we saw time to heal, um, self-love, self-appreciation. And maybe that is lacking because of the past, because of ties. I see maybe a good cook or maybe having a meal together. Maybe the first date is about that. We saw the ice cream, so very connected. And we have fairies around. It's kind of like your wishes will come true. Like fairies are working on this behind the scene or spirit guides are indeed working on this with you at the moment let's pick now some stickers so we can get a bit more hints for you i see a genius like right away we can see that with the lamp the lightning can be that sense of like when you meet somebody it's like whoa like the thunder hits you or the lightning hits you better uh lightning because in french we have this expression as like we fall in love instantly so it's like we are being hit by the lightning and i feel like this could be the feeling when you meet this person 100 percent fresh <laughs> so they're gonna be fresh you can see love hugging, supporting each other, reassuring each other, welcome and open. So this person is indeed welcoming you. The sign open shows that you are open for that relationship. Again, I see someone who is hardworking and focused. We have a start. So yes, that is starting indeed. I mean, you guys are single. So your single days are over. It's starting. You guys are starting that relationship. Here we have this, I think, of making memories together. And for the reminder, you are the main character. So remind yourself that you can manifest anything in your life. You are the main character, the one who is creating this reality and creating opportunities for yourself. So understand your power. But that's the rating, guys. I hope you liked it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. If you want some personal guidance, the tools, the merch, everything is linked down below so check it out subscribe if you're new of course and i'll see you guys next time check my other readings while you wait for me possibly the spouse wedding might be calling you so check it out if it does and yes i'll see you guys next time take good care of you bye bye Pile number two, if you are in a situationship, let's see what will actually manifest in the future and what can you expect love-wise. So I see you guys rewarded, okay? So you're not going to be in that situationship for too long. I see one winner and you choose the winner. Or if you are in a situation where you are the second choice or third, like first choice, I don't know. You can be the one who's attracting two people or you can be in that situation. That means somebody is in between you and another person. But whatever the scenario is, you guys will be the winner or you choose the one that is more fitting for you.
So the Sijin is going to be important here. The Six of Roses talks about recognition, waning energy, like I'm the winner, I'm the chosen one, or I choose the person that really vibes with me and that I see a future with because we have the Destiny card, aka the Wheel of Fortune. So what I see is good luck. I see somebody completing yourself, matching your energy. Again, we have number six, which could be numbers that you see. And six in tarot is actually the lover's card. So if you choose wisely, or if you are going to be the one that is chosen, it is because love is part of your soul's contract. That is why destiny is playing part for you to be with the right match. Unless, if you're not the chosen one, you'll be chosen by somebody that is destined to be with you. So take what resonates, of course, because I see a lot of different scenarios, different situations, um, but I see that no matter what, no matter what, you'll be the winner. No matter what, you'll be recognized by somebody that is rather a soulmate, a twin flame, a counterpart, you name it. But destiny is what is helping you to be attracting somebody that is special. And with this wiener energy, I see that this is somebody that is going to click with you, that is going to shine brighter, that's going to make you feel a very, like, a certain way that makes you have butterflies in your stomach. You feel so connected to them. You feel like, oh, it's looking into a mirror, just having this person around. That's why 6-6, six, six, mirrored energy, destiny playing part to manifest a certain person that is indeed going to make you feel that way, that connection in a deeper way so this situation ship is going to end i'm not seeing this lasting i'm seeing this pretty much as a test for you to recognize what you are choosing in life what you value in love and so you can then be directed towards that fortune or that result so let's continue and see more hints about how this situation ship is going to evolve any future energy here Yes, change, change indeed. So evolution, relationship, um, and evolving to the nest phase. And the nest to me is kind of like home, you know, like building something together and healing the inner child growth. So from that, you guys will grow. And not just you, like if you just say goodbye to one person, they will face their teaching and karma. If you welcome somebody, they themselves will face a certain karma and or depends if you are in that situation where you are chosen or rejected you'll face yourself a certain karma so if these things are happening to you ask yourself why is this happening what is the evolution i'm experiencing and where is the root of that karma so i can rather break down or say thank you to that base because that can be a good or bad karma but whatever that is transformation is going to happen relationships will be evolving and you guys will just find home in each other 10 actually is a sign of completion so you're completing a cycle and then the situation ship dissolving is going to allow yourself to evolve towards a self a safe sorry a safe relationship so not enough maybe this is what is creating that type of dynamic one of you may feel like i'm not good enough um, i'm frustrated relationships never work for me so lack of confidence self-sabotage ego fear issues jealousy so these things can actually be what created this i kind of see this as a knot <laughs> you know all these ties all like in a knot like okay how to just how to just make that freed so we can all just you know feel good about um a connection or create a relationship or if then i'm not good enough for you then let me free myself so i can find the right match and find my destiny so if this is coming from you if you feel frustrated if you like confi confidence if you feel like okay i'm always sabotaging myself i'm always you know speaking negative about love or dating or yourself or your potential to attract somebody work on that if you're someone who is jealous you have fears ego issues address that too because this is how you do manifest the person or how you win the game how you manifest that destiny or redirect towards your destiny because there are multiple scenarios multiple roads i'm really getting here so um, yes but not feeling enough could be a big issue and this is why the universe is telling you change evolution is manifesting because that's the way to clear that situation 
Okay, too many cards. I just wanted one more. So let me shuffle again. One more for this situation ship. One more card. Okay, we have two of them, but I'll take them. So healing heart, we talked about healing, um, addressing karma, addressing some type of fears, issues, or lack of confidence, you, you know. So healing heart, healing from her break, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yes, some people can be quite addictive. Some people can be very charming, but in the end, you know, when you feel, I don't feel safe. And if you are in the situation, ship, um, and you feel like you're not safe or you're not loved, you're not noticed, the person gives you the bare minimum, they never text you back, they ghost you and someday they disappear out of nowhere and they start to engage again, they start to be flirty again. You know what the universe wants you to do right now. Like they don't see you as enough. They just see you as somebody who is good to play with from time to time because you give them validation, you give them love, you make them feel special. So of course they want to get more of that. It doesn't mean they love you. They just want something from you. Very different. Love is not like that. Love is not taking away or taking from somebody what you desire. No, that's greed. That's ego. It's nothing like love. So understand the difference free your heart or free yourself if you are in this type of dynamic if you're not it could be from the past could be something you to heal from like i said karma is also there so when you do not address these things and don't really heal this is what really blocks the flow so healing heart and take your time to do it it's okay if you need months year to heal take these like don't force yourself to be dating because everybody around you is dating everybody around you has kids and get married no like just go at your own pace it really does not matter like their journey is not your journey your destiny is not their destiny it is very personal and here we have the love call so you are going to be called by somebody or possibly you text dm you know, but this person is wanting to engage with you to create that potential love and destiny with you. So someone expresses a love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. But that is someone who loves you. I'm not saying that's the person who is just playing with your heart a lot, okay? This person quit. If that person is in and out, they don't want you because when you want something, you go get it. And I'm sure you, you understand that, you know that. If you see and you want to be a millionaire, you take action, you go get it, you get the million, okay, or millions. But you're not going to just sit down and look at it like, oh, maybe tomorrow I'm going to take action. No, like you're not in and out, you go get it. That's how you are a winner. And you are this person, you're driven, you're passionate, you're confident in what you are attracting in yourself and in love. So because you know what you want, or at least I hope so, then you listen to the calling of love and you don't take any other calls or messages. But if somebody is DMing you and they're just playing with yourself and you know they're not honest, you know they're hiding something, listen to your intuition and don't waste more time. But this person that loves you, they will tell you, they will express themselves. Could be a long distance relationship or se sending love to the distance. Could also be something that's done. We have a first kiss and wow, okay, we saw destiny. We have calling in your soulmate, very connected again. So that is showing up that yes, indeed, you are attracting your destined lover. If not a soulmate, it could be a different label, but here we have soulmate, so it could be for a reason. So long distance, a first kiss, and you can see a date here. So this person that is going to express their feelings to you, like I said, is action-oriented. People want it, they show it, they go get it. It's like this, like for real. Like if you want something, you're not hesitant. You just go and get it. So first kiss and calling in your soulmate. And with the fountain appearing here, I see a lot of love provided to you by this soulmate. That's why you should be choosing this one because it is a lot more special. The other, one, the other one, I think it's it's mostly about you feel addicted to them, but it's not love. And you feel it like, oh, I, I like them because they look appealing or because 
they're flirty or you, you know. But deep down, you know, this is not going to be somebody that you build a future with. So let's see more couple of cards. Look at that. I knew you were my soulmate. I'm telling you, you guys are in a situation because you're being tested and the universe is wanting to present you or showing you one specific soulmate. And the universe wants you to understand that this destiny is actually the calling for you. It's the calling of love, but you have to choose the right one or you will be chosen by the right person. I mean, destiny, soulmate, soulmate. That is crazy. Like sometimes, I mean, I feel like none of the readings I did recently showed up so many um, signs of the same energy. This one's calling me, so stay with me tonight. They want indeed to spend nights with you. They want to, you know, start to date you, get to know you, go on dates, have the first kiss, and then, you know, just be sleeping next to you. It doesn't have to be sleeping together, of course, but stay with me tonight can just be about talking for hours before bed, exchanging about ideas, things you want to be experiencing, things that, you know, you want in love. But I just see the two of you liking to exchange a lot, liking deep conversations before bed, etc. So let's see more about their personality. You are attracting someone who is extroverted, so they will love to be around friends, they will love to go out a lot. So if you're somebody who likes to go on dates, who loves to explore, who loves to have amazing activities with somebody, that is totally the fit for you. And we have somebody who is pure. And when I look at her, I think of, you know, the wedding day with the veil on. Or just that sense of purity, protection. And we have the right rose. This may be announcing actually a spiritual connection. I mean, we saw that. Um, but this is also announcing marriage as a symbol. So, and by the way, if you haven't watched my last reading, which is the spouse reading. Because I see this maybe they are connected. So you can be attracting your future spouse. We have a little bead here. Let's see now their messages. So what they want to say to you. Any revelation. You should come closer. <laughs> and I'm yours if you want me. And we talked about marriage. I'm yours. I don't know, but I feel like these messages are really a code for you. Of course, if you do want marriage, um, but I'm yours if you want me. It could be just a date, of course, or like I'm your future boyfriend or future girlfriend if you want me. And you should come closer. So if you're the one who's a bit hesitant, like in and out, they're telling you, look, if you want that to work, you have to just work with me, collaborate with me. So let me pick the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So far, we have fire sign with the roses. So let's put that in the bag and see. So we have Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. Let's see now their, I mean, more hints about their name, maybe a place with letters and words or anything specific like a sentence. We'll see what comes out. Ooh, we have a kiss again. <laughs> so kiss, funny, Sagittarius, Leo. And I see Leia, lean. Let, let's show you closer. So someone indeed funny. I feel like the wow moment is when you meet this person. Like, whoa, okay, I was not expecting this person. Or like their charm, their charisma is quite attractive. I see Lane. So maybe the, that lane, that path, that guidance. I see LA. I have a teen. So you could have been meeting as a teenager. Unless you're a teen watching. That's pretty much what I can see. But something specific can appear to you. So play with them. Let's now pick the dice so we can get more hints. Okay, <laughs> so we can see the crown and the crown really shows somebody of power and I see someone who is rich as well or will become rich. So money, success, fame, magic, you can see that they do actually create magic, manifest what they want quite effortlessly. We saw lane and I can see a path here. So you are going to be really following a path or following somebody 
Leo, and we saw Leo or the lion, maybe they have this fiery, confident energy. The lion in tarot is about strength, strength, strengths, jeez, and, and courage. I cannot speak. Um, but anyways, then I see magic, and we saw magic with the wand, magic with their hands. They can have healing hands as well. And I see a mysterious person. So if you don't know who is going to pick you or maybe what situation is uh, really happening, actually that mystery will be uncovered. But you have to be patient because things might be clearing out for you to understand what is going on. But I feel like, you know, you are in the situation for a reason. Um, and all this is really teaching you something important to level up and choose what really is fitting for you. So let's see stickers. Let's get more information. Okay. Um, so I see love exchanges with messages with a blue um, flower and we saw the rose here. Maybe buying you flowers. Maybe that is somebody who has that romantic side about them. And for milk and the rose, and again, we can see flowers in this is very similar to the decor, <laughs> but what I see again is just somebody who will express their love with like little things. They can buy you a drink, something like that. They can actually love to do activities with you, sport with you, especially if they're very passionate in one field and they want to do that with you. That's because you're special, like they choose you for a reason. And I see that you may have friends around you really telling you, okay, that is the situation, you should do that. Or they just perceive deeply what's happening, even if you're not aware of how they feel or if they like you, they know. So try to look for answers to like your friends or talk about the situation to your friend and see what they like see in that relation, in that connection, in that situation. So we can just clarify that okay but that's the rating for you guys i hope you liked it if you do make sure to put a thumbs up claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments subscribe if you're new if you want some personal guidance tools the merch everything is linked down below so check it out and i will see you guys next time check my other readings i feel like the spouse reading might be calling you but i have tons of them so check it out and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs> Crystal souls in a relationship. Let's see what the future holds for you. So, beautiful things actually. So we have the moon, the producer, aka the magician, the creator, the one who manifests the situation and manifests this beautiful love. You guys have plans for the future. I can get that. Next destination, trips, travel, enjoying each other's company. And really the moon card is screaming marriage i'm not gonna lie to you because the way they are dressed or if not marriage could be some event where you dress fancy and go to together it could be a fancy restaurant could be going for a meal that is quite luxurious anything like this really i see you guys wanting to explore wanting to do together or if you haven't tried this before this may be the next plan if you want to be traveling to a certain place that is your sign to take that vacation that is your sign to take that trip because this will change actually the dynamic of this relationship you guys will feel more connected more like one that's why number one is the magician's card number three talks about evolution so this will make like i said the relationship evolve the relationship grow and so you guys can actually level up together flying high together and what i see with 18 so one and eight one is newness creation mm -hmm. and actually number eight can be the infinite sign or that can relate to a very powerful attraction i feel like the two of you are together for a reason and possibly because destiny played part in that attraction in this relationship and this relationship is the one that you created together you called you produced this relationship together with production if you are dating for a long time and if your projects is about you know going on trips a lot marrying each other or at least becoming fiancés um, and then having a baby production conceiving you get the point even number one is about creation so if you do want to have a baby this can be your sign okay that creation will be 
indeed supported. Now, if you don't want kids, it's not gonna be giving you that result. It has to be something you manifest. You're the magician, you're the creator, remember? So not a force for creation, but something you do create out of love because you do desire to become the vessel for that baby to, you know, be given birth to on earth. <laughs> but that is the next step of that relationship that you do attract. So anything you pictured, can be a little thing, it could be a trip, like I said, um, it could be, what else, having a house together, really the next steps you project and you talk about together and you feel like, oh, this is what we want, this is what I can see ourselves actually experiencing or doing or creating, but that calls you. Now, in this relationship, I see that some people can be a bit malicious. Some people can really talk about your relationship a lot. Don't let the noise damage that relationship. I do see that this may be possibly a parent figure, maybe a, a friend that is a snake, always talking negative about things. You have to know people talk through their own filter of life, their own filter of pain, their own filter of the ego. So their karma they project their karma onto your story. You can have the most beautiful, loving relationship, but because they are in so much pain, they can be bitter and jealous and always project their own negativity. So if you're around this type of person, try to cut contact with them. If that's a friend, that is not a friend. To me, it's a snake and a snake is not really serving you in any way. So if you have a presence like that around you, something if they are family people, then start hanging out less with them, start not engaging with them, or when they start to talk negative, don't respond. Because when you engage, when you even defend yourself, then they feed out of this energy. It's not serving you and this is not helping the relationship that you are in. It could be some situation for some people and for some people it may not be even a situation, okay? So take what resonates with you because of course that is a collective reading i'll take the one facing up karmic relationship so okay i'm not saying this connected to that love but i see this snake as a karmic relationship and look we have so many faced up that's why we saw number eight destiny playing part creation attraction and going to the next level you are you have a soulmate in your life and this is triggering a lot of people because they want to get that and so what is created with that snaky figure is actually karma is like i said somebody who is bitter envious jealous like they want to get what you want so to kind of destroy that and make you like less important in their own eyes or reality because they don't they don't really like to see people happy because they are not yes actually they create more drama and that is why you need to let let go can you see that so fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving yourself indeed when you choose you when you love you you cannot even accept people around you that disrespect yourself that are not supporting yourself not supporting your happiness always being bitter and judgy and whatever and yes this can be a mom yes this can be a dad but should you always forgive themselves no it's not because they have that role in your reality that it means you have to accept their bs i know a lot of people do that I know I do that from time to time, I kind of excuse them, but at the same time, is this really serving you? Is this really making you feel good? Like, yes, you can be the one who adapts, very good, like, you can forgive everybody, you, you have a loving heart, but is this a company that's making you feel love? If no is the answer, then you don't need these people, actually. Whatever the role they play, because all this is your life. All this is your reality. So, soulmates, you have a soul connection, a beautiful partnership with this person. We have a soul contract. So, yeah. And I do think like you have a lot of souls contract with some are indeed soulmates and some are indeed just actually just creating um, a little bit of a situation here. But I'm not seeing this connected to your love. I'm seeing this around that may affect actually the connection. So if this is their parent, 
maybe talk about them like with, with what's happening maybe show them this fitting so they will understand oh maybe the influence indeed is toxic or maybe the influence is not really helping us to go to the next level because we are dragged down by this energy here and if that's the case clearance is needed cutting cutting ties cutting contacts and really healing from that will benefit that relationship so we can take off you know and actually fly higher this way so let's see couple guides more about your future together the dynamic attraction yes i mean you guys were attracted to each other for a reason but you'll feel even more connected these days you feel even more like being there for the person doing more things for them taking them on a date surprising them so the attraction is huge romantic feelings I mean, you can see that. You guys are just vibing together. If this is a start of a relationship here, you know, in the beginning, you may feel like, okay, uh, like, how is everything going? Like, where is the, 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 the direction that we're taking? Is this person truly in love with me? That is confirming that. They are attracted to you. They like you. They find you beautiful. They find you very charismatic. They love your energy. They love the way that you plan things, that you project a future with them. They love your essence, your energy. They feel comfortable around you and they love you so much so much they may show that, that like their love with little attentions like notes they leave before going to um to work or maybe study depends who's watching but i just see that they put effort in that connection to make that work and last in time let's see more cards about your future I dream of your lips every night. So if you guys don't live together, I just feel like this distance is quite difficult for them. Like they just want to be around you. If you're dating somebody as a long distance relationship, it is so difficult for them. Like you have to know, because they want to show their feelings. They want to show their love to you with attention and kisses. Because you can see kisses, kisses. And I dream of your lips every night. So they might look at your lips a lot when you talk. And that is a big sign like when somebody looks at your lips it's because they just want to kiss you they are magnetized by your, your actually your lips so <laughs> sometimes you feel like is it because i'm talking about something specific or actually it's just kisses so love at first sight could have been what you guys felt when meeting this person like it was the one like that's the person i want to be with that's love at first sight it is an evidence and i'm sure it's because you guys indeed feel a soul connection with them you know that is a soulmate you know that is somebody you have a soul contract with and you feel of course the attraction for a reason so love at first sight and i dream of your lips every night let's see their personality how they're going to be with you a homebody and a <laughs> soul connection and an introvert okay so they may love to stay at home or they will grow into becoming this person because sometimes we can see people are very extroverted um like they love to be around people they love to go out a lot and then they start to date and actually shift into somebody that prefers to stay with you stay at home watch a movie enjoy a meal that you cook together you know they can actually switch if they are not introverted but if they are they might actually love to stay at home with you a lot more they can have a pet we have the cat but it could be a different pet of course let's see or they may want to have a pet and adopt a pet with you if you do want to of course maybe a snake <laughs> i don't know we never know uh, i mean you guys will know but let's see let's see messages what they want to say to you should i confess to you i feel like they might be because they might be shy or introverted, sometimes they keep their feelings for themselves. So even though you're dating, they may not express everything they feel towards you. So because they love you so much, and sometimes they feel oh, maybe it's too vulnerable to talk about these things, they may want to confess more to you. Or unless this is what you feel like doing, if you've been kind of hiding the feelings or not really talking about how deep you feel towards them possibly because it's too new for you show show how you truly truly feel so should i confess to you 
and I love when you're soft. <laughs> so these are the messages from your person. Let's continue now. So I'm gonna pick the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of the person. But so far I see fire, Pisces, and fire again. Um, and with the rose energy, it could be somebody that you meet around spring or the seasons. We'll see with the grid and these. Um, but spring or... I just see the fire between the two of you. You know, it can just be that. It doesn't have to be the season. The passion. Okay, so Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, A Aquarius, A Aquarius, <laughs> Aquarius and Capricorn. Let's pick now letters and words. So we can see maybe a name appearing, a place, maybe the next destination as well. Anything specific for you guys? Any hint? Team, beneath, wow, and wish. I see LA, lane, geo, when we saw geography, the map here appearing. We have Dan, Danielle is showing up as a name. Maybe Danny, one, so you are indeed attracting the one. Instagram can be the platform where you guys exchange a lot. I heard elevation or elevate. In French, I see lion. I mean, that's also English. And then we have Leo. So it could be a Leo. Did we see here? No, we did not see. So that's a plus for you. And for other signs, Pisces. So Pisces is a plus. And, <laughs> and Cancer. I see Don. I think of language. Yes language maybe they have a different language i don't know because i do see some people in a long distance relationship possibly traveling to each other um and language we have different places i see dakota as well alone alone oh you guys might be feeling alone sometimes if you're not together if you're not living together i do i do feel yes this can be how you truly feel like you want to be around each other all the time Maybe long, yes, long actually showing, long and this, long distance. But let's see what the dice have to say. So I see a conqueror, they are in their night's energy. I see a bright future for this relationship, which is nice. With the cauldron, for some reason, I think of halloween um cauldron witches etc and actually i might have a little announcement coming up very soon with something but i'll announce that when it's actually published but anyways so i do see that maybe around halloween season there could be something specific and i see that this person thinks a lot possibly projects a lot asks themselves a lot of question um if you're someone who is that person so maybe you overthink sometimes that's something to address maybe express how you feel towards these questions with the crown i see that person of power queen king energy with the pirate i think of the snake person to be honest like they want to maybe that's someone who is jealous of that relationship and wants to conquer you actually kind of steal the treasure for somebody else but they're the king or the queen so i'm not seeing this person stand a chance and look i see some type of movement so maybe from a house to a castle or if you were the prisoner of the tower you are now actually moving in together so it could be the first step in that relationship i'm gonna pick next stickers so we can see more hints for you anything connected to that relationship okay i'll take these I was like, is this travel? And yes, okay, so that is clear. Traveling is indeed part of the plan, you guys. <laughs> so, travel. And let's see that message on the phone. I am in love with my phone. And we saw... Wait a second. I, I feel like I talked about... Ex yeah, IG, talking on on Instagram possibly, so on the phone. So maybe that person when starting to date you or you felt this way too, you kept on DMing each other. I see someone who is a bit wounded or needs some, some reassurance, company and support. 
maybe someone is a bit shy in the beginning. I mean, we saw somebody who is introverted, so they can be indeed a bit more shy. And I see giving love here. So giving more love, standing together, and someone very charismatic. So you've been attracted towards this person because of multiple reasons, but you do feel that love and you exchange more love together, you heal together, you level up, you have plans for the future. I mean, that's perfect. And you are with a soulmate. So yes, you are hitting the jackpot for sure. So that's the rating, guys. I hope you liked it. If you do, make sure to put a thumbs up. Claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. If you want some personal guidance, the cards, the tools, everything is linked down below. So check it out. And check my other readings appearing on the screen while you wait for me or others because you have tons of them. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.